have a glossy box to unbox today. I'm very excited, so let's just get straight to it. We're gonna review all the products this month and we'll have a new video at the end of the month to review and compare all of the beauty boxes I'm receiving this month. So let's take a look. I feel like I'm opening this wrong. Just some coupons falling out there. Uh, I like that uh, Glossy Box includes a few coupons. Uh, haven't used any of them yet, but there's one for Okada, which is a pretty fancy grocery store out here in the UK. There's one for HelloFresh, which I have tried before and I loved it. It was just too much work for me. Virgin Wines? First I thought that was for Virgin like stores and I was like, doesn't that not exist anymore? Anyway, I don't drink wine, so whatever. But we are back with Glossy Box, the classic pink box. And I don't mind too much that the design isn't different every month because the box is like sturdy and the way that it's built and it's like, it's good for so many different things. So I like it a lot. Let's get inside though, shall we? Da -da -da -da. Isn't it so pretty when you open it? I love the little bow. Very Audrey Hepburn like, very classic like that. I'm selling their amazing Christmas advent calendar. It's not enough of a discount, I don't think, for me to be interested. I think I'll just be overwhelmed by samples at that point, but I'll think about it. Glossy Box, delicious beauty. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> this is kind of funny that I was just talking about this. There are three sort of drugstore brand items in here, which I was just saying I was happy not to see in the birch box this month. Uh, if you've watched that, you can, you can watch that. Um, I posted that first, so if you haven't yet, my birch box unboxing is there. But here's a beautiful sticker and tissue paper. And when we open it up, there we go. As you can see straight off the bat, there is a Carex, um, hand gel, a Palmer's deep conditioner, and a Colgate toothpaste. So again, like I said in my previous video, I'm not too impressed when these beauty boxes give us stuff that we can just pick up for a couple of bucks, a couple of quid down at the drugstore because the whole point of beauty boxes is to try new things and uh, especially higher end products that you want to try samples of. So. I don't really know where they're going with that, but is the toothpaste like expensive or something? No, it's four pounds, so that's very normal. I actually, I've tried a couple of toothpastes that are like 12 pound toothpastes, toothpaste that are like 12 pounds before. So, you know, a four pound toothpaste, even though it's full size, it's like, great, I'll just add it to like my backup drawer, right? <laughs> I don't know. And then like a drugstore brand hand sanitizer. It's kind of funny that it's branded like Valentine's Day because I was just saying that the uh, posy tint reminded me of a Valentine's candy. So uh, I wonder if uh, there's some back up left over from Valentine's Day that people gotta get rid of. Oh, it does smell like uh, love heart candy, but it's not too strong. So I don't think I would hate it too much. A little disappointed actually. Even though this is like drugstore Palmer's brand, I am excited to have a hair mask. We'll see just how beautiful and shiny. I'll I'll do my hair before the beauty review box so that it's like down and gorgeous. And we'll see. See how see what the protein pack does. It feels really nice and squishy. I wish that I had nice enough equipment to actually do this ASMR style because that's what I actually love on YouTube is ASMR. It has been a lifesaver for me after the last over the last few years. But, um, nice. Can I get a nice sound? I am not an audio designer, so I'm not gonna do any injustice, but there we go. You've seen the Colgate. It's loud and proud right on top there. Banana setting powder. Why do bananas need setting powder? Baking. Okay, well obviously I don't do enough face makeup, I think, to require baking. Oh, you put it on your concealer, allow it to sit for five minutes and brush it off. The result is a glowing, bright, and flawless complexion. I don't use concealer. <laughs> well, actually, I'm excited, excited to try it. 
I can't get it open, so we're just going to do a review of it at the end of the month with the review box. It is nice packaging. It's not glass. It is plastic. So we'll, we'll see. Powder's pretty like, it's like, how can you go wrong with powder, right? So we'll see. I, I like the design of the um, top. That's nice. Mitchell and Peach um, Parfum. I am a little nervous about perfumes. I'm very sensitive to smells as I have a neuroimmune disease and uh, I'm a highly sensitive person. It's not too strong, which is good, but I don't think it's quite for me. I might be re-gifting it to somebody. <laughs> or if somebody in the UK wants it, just send me, PayPal me some money for shipping and I'll send it to you. But it's a nice smell. I just can't really wear perfume. And I wish there was somewhere on my glossy box profile to put that because I, I'm afraid I'll miss out on a lot of the stuff. But it, it's a pretty nice, Rose, peony, and lavender, <clears throat> but yeah, my throat is already starting to hurt a little bit. So perfumes are not gonna work for me. Um, but I don't want it to go to waste. So if you wanna pay for shipping, I'll send it to you in the UK. DM me on Twitter, Jenny SRP, or you know, something, figure it out. So actually they have six items in this box, which maybe makes up for the drugstore products. We have a Hello Beautiful. Oh, body scrub. Excellent. So you get your skin wet and you, uh, ooh, it has caffeine, so you should use it in the morning to help you wake up. I don't know if you use the whole pack. It looks like you use the whole pack in, in one go. You leave it on for two to three minutes and then rinse. I don't know if you use the whole thing or not, but we'll figure it out. We'll give it a try, see how it goes. I'm not gonna open it to smell it, but I'll let you know how the scent is in the review at the end of the month. Nice packaging, another nice sounding item. Ooh. Oh, and there's a surprise, an extra little bonus. There's a Godiva ganache heart with Belgian dark chocolate. This is amazing. I love dark chocolate so much, but I can't eat it until October because I'm currently on a treatment that's on a very, very, very strict diet. I guess I'll have to wait until October, which is my birthday. I'm very excited to see if the um, beauty boxes do anything special for subscribers' birthdays. Um, I would assume it would just be Birch Box and Glossy Box because Love Lula does not have like a individualized profile, so I don't think they would do anything, but it's nice. There is a little bonus, so I guess technically there's seven items in this box, which maybe makes up for the drugstore brands included, but I'll let you know what I think about everything in the review at the end of the month. That's it from me and Glossy Box today. I'm really excited to try everything and come back for the review of Love Lula, Glossy Box, and Birch Box at the end of the month. Next month, I'm also going to probably try Look Fantastic. Let me know if there's other boxes that you really like that you'd like to see reviewed or opened up. Let me know if you got anything different in your boxes that I didn't get, because I like to see how things change. And if you're in another country and doing a, a beauty box of the same brand, uh, let me know how it compares to the UK here. I know I have an American accent, but I've been in the UK now for almost 10 years. So we'll see you when, probably next week when Love Lula arrives. That takes a little bit longer and then we'll unbox Love Lula and then we'll do a full review of all of the little goodies that came this month in September at the end of the month. So we'll see you then. Bye!